Warning! There will be many, many a spoiler in this video. For I am speaking about the movie. Um, Hannah, if you're watching this, first of all, stop because spoilers. And second of all, come see the movie with me, please. It's so good. So, some people say the movie was a bit slow in the middle. I personally didn't feel that, so I can't really address that one. I'm. It wasn't supposed to be a fast-paced movie, though. So, I will say that. Um, another thing, they aren't, that they weren't good singers and dancers, and, like, that's, I can't, that's why it's so good, is that they're regular people, and, and they both learned, they learned singing techniques and dancing techniques from scratch, and that's, it's, it felt so real, because the dances weren't amazing, and they were just so good, and, um, uh, speaking towards the opening number, people who didn't like the opening number, it was great, and it, set you in the world perfectly for what the movie was going to be and I'm sorry but like a million people dancing in unison on a highway is actually amazing and if you weren't impressed by it then I don't know what's going to impress you in life. A lot of people said that they thought Emma Stone's character Mia was one dimensional and I don't know I just completely disagree. She wasn't just a person with a dream she had personality and she had people and she had that uh, little bit of a dynamic with her roommates that was kind of fun but didn't dominate the film too much and I just loved it. I loved it. Uh, Sebastian got the short end of the stick in the end of the movie in that Emma Stone's character right was married and she had a kid and she was very successful but I don't think I don't think that he didn't get what he wanted in life and we didn't get very much time to see anything about what his life was like. For all we know, he was married. For all we know, he had a ton of friends now. For all we know, he still kept in touch with uh, John Legend's character, whose name I don't remember. And he was very happy in the scene that we saw him in. He was happy. So, he was happy. And that was, and it wasn't, he, he didn't need to be in love to be happy. He had his... He had Sebs, and Sebs was his place, and Sebs was what he wanted to do, and he was doing it, and it was lovely, so thank you. Let's talk about people who thought that they should have ended up in, together in the end of the movie. Um, when they broke up, it was because they wanted to, they wanted the other person to be able to go off and to not have anything stopping them from doing what they wanted to do. It was an act of love that said, I want to be with you, but long distance relationships take a lot of energy and work, and I want you to go, and I want you to go do all the things that you've dreamed of doing your entire life without me getting in, possibly getting in the way of that. I was talking about it with my brother Toby and I'll put a link to our joint comedy channel where we reviewed the movie at the end of this. Um, and he was saying that what he loved about the movie is that you don't necessarily have to agree with them or think that they made the right choice in the end when she's with another guy, which she's not with Sebastian. Is that there wasn't supposed to be a moral to the story. And you are allowed to disagree with them and still root for them because throughout the movie they made a lot of they both made choices that I was like, that's not good life choices, but you, you still rooted for them and you still wanted them to eventually make the right choice and eventually be happy and eventually, like they were such real characters in that way that like you root for a friend even though they're not making good decisions. I loved that it wasn't perfect. And that it was hard. When they went through the whole thing, in the end you can see that they know that's not what real life would have been like had they stayed together and, and it wouldn't have been the ideal and it wasn't the ideal now and it wouldn't have been the ideal then. And that they were still really happy that they got to be in each other's lives. And that because of that, he had Sebs and she had her dream. And... It was love. I'm sorry. Um, 
sorry if I talk about this movie any longer, I'm going to start crying. So that, I mean, those are my thoughts on the movie. There are issues with it. I understand maybe it dragged in some spots, but it, it's still one of, uh, it's still one of my favorite movies I've ever seen. And it has inspired me to create so much. And I've written a lot of songs since then, which I'm hopefully going to be posting. And I'm really excited. And please subscribe if you don't subscribe to me yet. And because there's going to be music. It's mostly music that I do, but I do a couple of vloggy style things. Every once in a while, it's going to be a great year. And I'm really excited. So thank you for watching. Hey, it's Future Editing Elsie. I was uh, about to edit the video, and then I just watched this uh, video called by the ATZ Show called Why the Ending to La La Land Barks. It's so good, and it exactly explains what I'm trying to say. So if you still don't exactly understand, then please go watch. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's so, so good.